Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. We've got a great show for you guys today. Uh, we're going to be covering ESPN joining the ACC in the lawsuit against Florida State. Um, we'll also be talking about Cam Newton uh, getting into a brawl at uh, Atlanta 7 versus 7 football game. Um, then we'll be talking about a husband who blor- boarded a flight and departed without his wife um, after she insisted on getting a Starbucks. And then as always, at the end of the show, we'll be diving into our oddities of the day. Um, before we start, I'd like to ask that you guys like and follow the show. Uh, we get a number of questions from the viewers that come in during the show. So to ensure that your question gets read on the air, I ask that you use the tips and donation link with your question. The tips and donation link is stream elements.com slash gsmc sports network dot slash tip this put your question at the top of the list so that i can see it and it also just really helps the show hello tate how are you happy day after monday (laughs) happy day after monday yeah i told tate before we started the show i was like today really feels like monday it does not feel like tuesday to me yeah so happy day after monday happy day after you you know so it's one of those things, no computer issues. I have a backup yeah. camera, everything. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> I'm gonna knock on some wood right here. <laughs> Girl, I also, you started talking about that third segment and I'm like, mm, I kind of want to talk about that right away. <laughs> and see, I'm gonna tell you right out the gate, this is that the stuff behind the scenes. I definitely want to hear your t- your side on on what oh, you're going to say on that one too. You got you got to you got to bring it for sure on that one. So and then uh, it's gonna be, it's an interesting day today on yeah. some of the topics. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Yeah, I do have before we start. I want to announce that I am doing really well right now with a plant that I got uh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it has sprouted and she's doing great. I. I'm normally someone that kills plants. I've never been able to keep a plant alive, but this one, I'm like, it's going to happen. I'm going to have a plant. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to do a good job. So right now we're on like week three of the plant and she's doing great. Okay. So (laughs) what kind of plant is this? It's okay. So it's a basil plant, but what's so funny about it is it's like a starter plant. Like it's in a little tiny Mm-hmm. <laughs> little tiny pot and it came with a kit and instructions on how to take care of it so and I have like I got a little plant light for it because my <laughs> place doesn't get a lot of sunlight <laughs> so I have a little plant light that turns on and off um, in eight hour increments so and I'm watering it when it needs to be watered I check it every day see I'm thinking about you doing this and then I'm thinking about when I was in college and I used to have these Venus fly traps because, you know, guys think that stuff is kind of funny and cool, which is, I had these things forever. They were awesome. Mm-hmm. And people would like, they wouldn't just feed it like other insects. They'd feed it like pizza, <laughs> <laughs> and everything like that. The and, fact that it stayed alive after feeding it oh, pizza it's, is crazy. It totally stayed alive until one mistake. Mm. someone gave it a piece of bologna and it killed the whole thing. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, oh no, maybe I should not be, if this thing could eat pizza and hot dogs, but it can't survive a slice of bologna, I'm like, (laughs) oh no. So yes, that's what killed my my Venus fly fly traps in in college. (laughs) Don't know why that's an important part of this one, but you know, this is, caring is called sharing. (laughs) <laughs> oh gosh yeah i that's that's cool though that you had venus fly traps i forget that you can like you can just have those <laughs> oh yeah oh no i i i had i had venus, my my dorm my college dorm room or sorry i lived in a fraternity house so i didn't mm-hmm. live does that surprise you i lived in a fraternity house <laughs> um 
Yes and no. I mean, I wouldn't take you for a guy that would have been in fraternity, but I was also in a sorority, and a lot of people okay. don't think that I was take me for a Greek life girl. So, <laughs> so I had I I lived in fraternity house, and I was not one of those guys that had like, you know, Budweiser poster here. And no, I wanted I wanted like a nice laid yeah, out place. So much so that people like my room was so like I made it into like a living room mm -hmm. and people would try to rent my room out for their <laughs> dates. I was like, give me a 20 spot. <laughs> it's yours for the next few hours. <laughs> I don't know if I would be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> See, They'd have to I sign a contract of what they can I and speak, cannot do in my room. <laughs> I speak faith ease. Soon you said that I knew you that that little sentence told me so much. <laughs> I knew everything that you we'd thought to, about in that quick second. We'd have to form up a contract of what you can and can't do in the bedroom. <laughs> That's a whole uh, okay. nother. This is this is why, like, if we ever bring the whole membership thing back at G GSMC, that's these are the conversations that during the membership. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Faith. So, what were you saying? What's going in this clause? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know. All right. <laughs> speaking of that, one more thing. Mm. Yesterday, I forget what we were talking about. Oh, it was the woman and the AI boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And certain parts of you. And just the look you gave, I knew everything you thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like like that. I had read faith and it was like, oh no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, let's move on. Moving on. on. <laughs> All righty. So we've got some more stuff to add to this lawsuit <laughs> with the ACC and Florida State. The gift that just keeps on giving. <laughs> College football, right? Yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah. Okay. So the ESPN joins the ACC in a lawsuit against Florida State references potential felony in disclosing trade secrets. Um, Florida State has another opponent in its legal battle with the ACC, which is ESPN. The network is implying the school and its lawmakers might have committed a family a felony in an attempt and its attempt to leave the Atlantic Co Coast Conference. The broadcasting giant owned by Disney uh, submitted a filing in North Carolina court in support of the conference's lawsuit against the FSU's Board of Trustees who are trying to exit the ACC's grant of rights media deal. In the Thursday filing, ESPN said the deal contains textbook trade secrets that, uh, and that publicly disclosing the terms of the media deal would be destabilizing and harmful. ESPN comes out guns blazing in the February 22, 22nd filing, calling itself the worldwide leader in sports in the opening sentence and claiming the details of the argument between the network and the ACC should remain sealed. FSU has argued that the figure should be released as it tries to break off the deal set to expire in 2036. Okay. Ooh. So... <laughs> The first, first off, you're mm -hmm. right. College football, the this whole thing is just, it's, it's this messy show. soap opera. Yeah, it's like WWE and all my children's the guy didn't <laughs> like <laughs> all all the soap operas all and you know there's multiple plot lines whether it's mm -hmm. name, image, and likeness, Florida yeah. State, the Pac-12. You know, mm -hmm. the college football playoffs. It's like, man, it is nuts. It now, is nuts. the first thing I thought of when I saw this, it was like, uh-oh, Florida State messed up. Yeah. And here is the reason why Florida State has messed up. Because you've kind of upset Daddy Warbucks. 
<laughs> you know, That's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> you can't be. Listen, if you got that uncle that really likes you, Faith, and he's always he, well, we, we're not talking the creepy uncle now. Oh, okay, <laughs> we're, like, not, uh... we're not. We're talking about not uncle. No, uncle, come sit on my lap. No, 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 no. We're talking. <laughs> We're talking that uncle that, you know, he cares about you. He's helping send you mm -hmm. money for books and college tuition and I've things of that nature. <laughs> See, that's, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second to process. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is going to the membership section. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> Okay, conversation. We having this conversation after hours. Okay. Okay. So, wow, you just threw me for a loop on that one. <laughs> anyway, that uncle, the reason I call it Daddy Warbucks is why is Florida State doing this? Because they want to get out of the ACC mm -hmm. to go to a conference that pays a lot more money. Right. Well, there's only two. It's either the Big Ten, which is NBC and CBS, no, it's Fox, Fox, or it's the SEC, which is ESPN. Mm -hmm. ESPN is the one that's paying all that money to the SEC. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? By upsetting one of your suitors, it cuts you back. Maybe the SEC no longer may not end up being a viable partner for them. Maybe, maybe even if they break the granite rights and they're they're able to go, what you know? Maybe ESPN is like, no. Listen, we were under contract. You caused all this problems. You let out. You gave out. You know. You put our contracts out there for everyone to see, which we didn't want. We don't want you as a partner, mm -hmm. and that would eliminate the SEC as an option. SEC, whom ESPN pays like 70 60 to 80 million dollars a year depending on where is that in the contract or things or florida state the you know the school that causes all these problems which one is the a and, and florida doesn't really want them there they have a problem with espn which one do you think the sec is going to go with hey let's bring in this troublemaker come yeah. on down Mm -hmm. or no, mm -hmm. you have to be careful how you leave a situation. And the fact that this is very serious because of the fact that they didn't just say, hey, kind of like cease and desist. Hey, care, you know, calm down a little bit. No they went in and said they joined the lawsuit legal action against florida state mm -hmm. uh not only that they're making what florida state has done is criminal right it's more than illegal it, they're saying it. it's criminal what they have done this is this is more than just hey we're not happy with you mm -hmm. you understand where i'm coming from with this one yeah um that makes it a lot tougher. And it also makes it where if this whole name, image, and likeness thing, not image, well, you mix up this whole uh, granite rights issue, well, the two places that can really let them out of it, the ACC and the Big Ten have Florida State's media rights. Well, those are the two that hold all the cards and they're both suing you mm -hmm. this makes it even less likely that anyone is going to be willing to compromise with them either it's it's i feel like it is getting to the point where it's all or nothing for florida state either they win this or nothing i don't see with espn getting the accs back and then joining into the lawsuit i don't see how uh, if they don't win outright, how do you get out of this granted right? ESPN and Disney's not going to be like, you know what? I know you will. It's, it's going to be a half a billion dollars plus 100 and 
30 to 180 million dollars to break the contract. So right about 700 million, mm -hmm. but we're gonna give you a discount. <laughs> Maybe, you know, before I thought, I thought the path for them to get out of this contract was to fight it and then work on a settlement with ESPN saying like, hey, you let us out of the contract, we'll pay the exit fee maybe plus a little extra, but we'll sign with the SEC so that you still have our rights, everyone wins. I always thought that was the that was their ultimate goal. But now with ESPN coming out and suing Florida State and joining in with the ACC, this, I feel like this is a game changer. I think they've, it's kind of like the NCAA picking on Tennessee. Mm -hmm. they started a fight. I don't think they can win, mm -hmm. you know? And I think Florida State has started a battle that I don't know if they can win on this one. The, the, the only way, the one saving grace for Florida State with this, there's two. One, uh, if a Florida, they can get a Florida judge to be the one that rules on this and get, mm -hmm. get that part settled. And he just says flat out, this was done wrong and we throw it out. That would be that would be the best option for them. Option two is that they need to get a dance partner. And what I mean by that is they're the one making the noise, but everyone knows that Clemson, Florida State, Virginia, North Carolina are just waiting in the weeds to see if there's a crack, we're diving in there too. Mm -hmm. Well, with ESPN suing suing Florida State, either they're going to have to get some partners that are going to be a lot more vocal, or does it make those guys that are thinking about leaving say, you know what, we want to be even further away from Florida, I mean, from Florida State, because we don't want to bite the hand that feeds us as well. So Clemson and Miami and all those guys are like, you know what, Florida State's way over here we're here we would like to leave the acc but not florida state's way where they're burning they're burning down the kitchen on the way out mm -hmm. because i feel like that's what they're doing they're burning bridges that they will they may need to cross again uh you know and i i i think there that florida state is really hurting themselves there, it's going to be hard for them to get out of this contract. It's going to be hard for them to get out of the contract, especially now that, AC, that ESPN has come out so strongly against them. Uh, where I think with this whole college football playoffs, they could have made an adjustment where this, I think the smart move was like, we're going to stay in the, we're going to stay in the ACC Maybe we bring in Washington State and Oregon State to strengthen up and give us more numbers so that we can get a bigger chunk of the college football playoffs, kind of that route. Because if they're if they're going the private equity route where they're going to borrow $700 million to get out of this contract, what is that? Yes, it gets you out of the contract, but you still have to pay a mountain of money to get out. And now you may only have one partner and that's the big 10 because the sec is strongly strongly in the espn uh court that they're they're part of that espn camp espn's number one college football partner is the sec and florida state has upset them so i think it's just it's foolish it's mm -hmm. when keeping it real goes wrong what do you think yeah, i definitely when i saw this that espn was joining the acc in the lawsuit i was like oh it's over for florida state man. <laughs> it's over for them i don't honestly with espn joining the acc in this lawsuit i don't see how florida state is going to be able to get anything out of this at all and I think Florida State should just quit while they're ahead. You know, see, 
This because... is one of those things where a lot of people dis a lot of people disagree with that. I feel like you don't have to destroy the ACC. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could see coming together. You guys have been together for a long time, working together to come to ESPN and try to renegotiate. Mm -hmm. Although it's a it's a pretty sweet deal for ESPN at thirty six million a year. Uh, yeah. uh, 30 something million a year where they're paying 80, you know, to the SEC. But man, I just think this was not thought through and losing one of your, one of the possibly, I'm not going to say they have lost it because there's a lot of strange bedfellows in the world out there. Mm -hmm. um, but what's their play? What's their play? If, if the Big Ten comes out and says, you know what? We've expanded enough. We have 18 teams in the mm -hmm. Big Ten. We don't want Florida State. Or what if they say, you know what? They're too messy. We want Miami and mm -hmm. North Carolina. See you later. Let's say they break up the Big Ten and the SEC doesn't want, want Florida State. Florida State, be careful what you wish for. You might get it in a, in a situation where what happens? They break it up and the SEC says no to Florida State and the Big Ten says it. And now they're making, now they have to either go as an independent or join the Big 12 or something crazy like that. Be careful what you're asking for. Yeah. And I hope they're smart enough to have like checked behind the scenes. Like, hey, Big Ten, are you interested in us? Hey, SEC, mm -hmm. are you okay with us? Because if they have not done their due diligence behind the scenes. Nobody's going to want them now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, especially if you're, you know, an SEC team who's in bed with ESPN. This could be bad. Yeah, I agree. Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I honestly it doesn't look even... forward to when new stuff comes out about this because I feel like I'm watching, you know, like The Bachelor or something like that. <laughs> is it not every other day? It really is. Yeah. It like it has just become like this whole crazy concept mm -hmm. where every other day you can just like oh it's it's a it's a slow news day faith let's see are we gonna do a story <laughs> on the nba mm -hmm. the you know the nfl oh there you go florida state just <laughs> got got sued by espn <laughs> throw it in there no yeah. problem it's the gift that keeps on giving but, yep <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about Cam Newton um, <laughs> being involved in a brawl at Atlanta 7 versus 7 football game. So stay tuned.